Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, welcome, and welcome Cross Watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, a person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates, leave out the rest, practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. All right. So I feel, I see like you doing a huge cleanup. Decluttering energetically, um, materialistically as well, the things in your, in your space, in your environment. But with this cleanup, I really see you cleaning up your life. I see like there's a few things that you are getting rid of. With that seven of cups, there's a few things that you, maybe you've been... Um, feeling pulled in different directions about but there's there's a few that I see you being like yes I can't I can't keep holding this in my energy anymore I, it's just it's not it's not for me anymore um, and so some of these things are are things people situations that weren't going anywhere right so Seven of Wands is you being more protective of your environment, of your space, of everything that you've put your time and energy into to grow. So this is the Seven of Pentacles in this deck. So trees take a long, long time to grow. And you've, you've come a long way. You've come a long way and you have rewards. There are rewards here. From everything that you've you've built, we have building blocks. Something is being built beautifully here, but at this point, there's like pruning. I see you pruning leaves, getting rid of things, doing small things even to to create more stability in your space in your life. I'm hearing diet changes, doing diet changes, uh, but also environmentally, I see you being more organized or keeping something more simple or your daily, daily tasks or daily um, to-do list. Instead of having a million things to do, I see you keeping it more simple. And there's something that I just see you as not wanting to work towards anymore either right so a situation that you've put a lot of time energy into but now it just looks like you're not on the same page with someone you're not on the same page with you don't have the same goals anymore and so you're just not willing to uh, move things forward not willing to speed anything up or take action big action when you're just not on the same page or you're just not seeing eye to eye some of you are fe feeling a little bit confused right now i see you having options one of these options we have this set, the ace of pentacles so there is some sort of uh really a solid option here i'm seeing i'm hearing jackpot Feels like you have the jackpot surrounding you and you're evaluating to see which one that is, what it is. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. You have money coming in. 
you have money coming in. There could be a new job. I'm seeing offers coming in, a new job, a new source of income that I see creating a lot of fortune in your life. Stability, building blocks. You are coming to some sort of like major stability here. And it just took you to clean up your life or create different standards for yourself. Options and options and love too. Options here. There's options and love. Chariot. Someone's coming towards you. What? They they want to move something forward. Oh, oh, someone from the past. We have death reversed. Someone is like trying to stop you from moving on. They can see that you have options or they feel that way. They feel like you have options. And you're at this point where you no, know, you're closing chapters. King of Cups in your energy, you're you have you're very protective of your heart, right? I see you feeling like it's time, like it's time to do these things, it's time to let these things go. A huge declutter, it's time to let this person go, I've learned everything I needed to learn. I've grown from all of this and I'm ready for something more solid. Something that is going to bring me security and stability and peace. Yeah, you're ready. King of Cups is ready. And you have all these offers coming in. And you're, yeah, yeah, you could feel like you're being pulled in different directions. But there is a choice that I see you making. The choice you end up making is going to be the right one. Okay. If you do have someone on your mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see what their energy is saying right now. How do they feel about this situation at this moment? You could be dealing with someone who's very independent. I'm hearing they're 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 stable financially. They're <clears throat> they're at peace in their life. Ooh, they're getting ready to say something to you. Their intentions with this Page of Swords is um, to communicate to you, to say something to you. They, they've had their eye on you. They've been observing you. They, they're watching you. Okay. Ten of Pentacles reversed in your energy is how they're seeing you. So... You know what I'm getting? They they see you as like the one that got away. The one that got away. Or they feel like you are getting away. They see you have being unsure about something though or having other options. Okay. All right. And evaluating whether or not this is worth investing your time in anymore. Recovering. They're seeing you as recovering. Right now we're healing. The star is their actions towards you. Uh, it does look like they're hopeful, but as their actions, I see this person just trying to create peace between the both of you. They want to create peace here. They want to talk to you. 
to have some sort of peaceful resolution, a peaceful outcome. They want to create healing, renewal, and so they're they're getting they're thinking of what to say to you. What to say to you? What do they want to say? The moon. Okay. There's something that they want to say to you. And it's, it's somewhere along the lines where there was something that they weren't addressing. What, what was this? The world. The five of pentacles. So I see this person as wanting to talk to you um, about like the next chapter here, whether or not this is going to completely end or take those next steps. As we saw, we did see someone is trying to like hold on to you. What is this Ace of Pentacles? There's a commitment here. I'm seeing someone who lives somewhere very tropical. You could be connecting with someone. Someone's coming towards you where you could live in different areas, like distance wise, physically. You could, some of you could live somewhere more up north and someone's living more down south. But what is this Ace of Pentacles? What is this new opportunity? This is like a golden opportunity here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Financially, there is a golden opportunity coming towards you financially. Very tempting. It's going to be very tempting. We have the devil energy here. Very tempting. It does. I am seeing like material materialism. What is this? Opportunity. Judgment. Her hermit reverse. So. This new opportunity kind of looks like another chance or you're being given another chance or this could be something that you may have like felt like you lost an opportunity at, at one point and it's coming back around. Okay. The higher thing, the high priestess. Okay. Oh, so you know, you know this is coming or you know what this is. You'll know. Hierophant is telling me your lifestyle is about to change. And you're trusting your intuition. You're listening to your intuition, following your intuition, and it's not going to lead you wrong. There's an invitation coming in. What is this? Okay, to go somewhere, travel somewhere. Yeah, travel. Someone's going to invite you to travel somewhere. So, the Wheel of Fortune is your advice. And this talks about change, talks, talks about making certain adjustments to our patterns, which I see you cleaning things up, decluttering, letting go of certain things. I'm seeing with this loyal heart. Something about evaluating what you what you're loyal to. Cause seven of cups, I'm seeing options. You have options. I'm hearing pick one. So pick one that you really can give your all to, that you feel intuitively pulled towards. Cause you have someone who is going to be very, very loyal to you here. It's in your energy. You know this person. Um, and I don't necessarily feel like you have a past with this person. Just a little hint. 
So I'm seeing the numbers 21, 23, 28, 6, and 35. Those numbers, they could be birthdays. They could be special days. I'm seeing the letters C, I, U, P, B, N, Y, L, and H. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.